here it is. These stickers are all from different places. This is from Smudge Fingers on Instagram. This is from Lowish, and this is from Society6. So I covered up my private information up here because, you know, y'all be creeping. And this is actually a gum wrapper that I drew on and just taped in there. And I always like to do some sort of cool opening page for my sketchbook. So this one just has random designs on it and the date that I started up to the date that I finished. So it took me almost a whole year to finish this. This is just something I actually did probably this summer just to fill up a blank space and I really liked it. It was pretty nice and abstract. And these are just notes from my graphic design class. And one more page of notes. And then this is just another thing that I did to fill up that empty space. This was just something that I was feeling at the moment and I was inspired by the rain dripping down my car window and I just really was satisfied with this nice calming gradient right here. So this was a nice little just flower line drawing and these were notes that I took at a sermon. So funny story, I actually drew this side on stage at a concert. I was in the band at my college and it was at church, it was a concert at church. And so we had to wait for the pastor to give his sermon while we just sat up there. It was so, so boring. So instead of getting on my phone, I decided to draw instead. And then this just came afterwards, and I don't really like it as much as this one. This was a plan that I did for my collab with Smudge Fingers. This was... I'm trying to figure out... Because sometimes I paint over pages if I don't like them, so that could be what this is, because this is black paint. This was some rough drafts that I did for a commission from one of my friends at college. And so this was just a little bit more um, refined, or like I was trying to figure out which position she liked better. This is just a little excerpt from Art News Magazine that I liked. This was also probably one of those cover-up pages where I didn't like what was underneath and I love what happened with it. I love this bright burst of color and gold. I think it's really pretty. This is a picture of, well, five pictures to be specific, of one of my favorite singers of all time, Billie Eilish. They're not really supposed to look like her, I kinda just did them off the top of my head, um, just kinda loosely, and this one I did try to make it look more like her. But yeah, it was just random inspiration in the moment. I didn't like this one really at all, but I did kinda like this one and I thought my, my favorite part is actually her legs and her arms. I thought I did those so well and I'm not even ashamed of bragging because that doesn't happen all the time for me. And you know, just whenever you get it perfectly, it's just so satisfying. So I was very happy about that. This one is unfinished and I kept meaning to finish it, but it's just going to have to remain unfinished. This was just weird. I don't even know what I was doing there. <laughs> this was inspired by the solar eclipse, and again, it's unfinished. I realized that I had started to make the moon way too big. I got an art box, and it was calligraphy themed, and so I was practicing that in here. And these pages are taped together because I didn't like what was on the other side. I believe I painted it and it just completely got messed up. You can see it shining a little bit there. So I just taped them together. This one don't like so much either. It was just a little um, practice for fun. I found three pictures on Instagram randomly and combined them to make one picture. It's kind of a cool idea that I would like to try again. This was a little bit sad. 
um, I was just in, you know, one of those super down moods. I was actually in art class at the very beginning of the year, and um, I was feeling very um, insecure, and like I'd closed in on myself. I wasn't really talking to people. I just felt kind of, I guess, like insignificant, and um, I don't know. It, I wrote like a bunch of the things I was feeling around the side, so you can read that. But then over here, I tried to get a little bit more positive. Side note, I really, really like those lips. These are more notes from a, a sermon, and this is just something that it was inspired by a sunflower patch that we had gone to see earlier. And this one is the first drawing in the book. I wrote it up here so I wouldn't forget. This one is definitely one of my favorites in this book and I want to make it a painting. And I've sort of already started, but it's just kind of sitting in my room right now. Um, the girl in the glowy thing. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a funny title, but I really liked it for some reason. And it's just super like sci-fi-ish. I was inspired to draw the girl because I saw this girl jump on a trampoline on her back and there was tons and tons of sparkles on the trampoline like glitter and so as she went up from the trampoline they all followed her and i just i thought that was so cool so i screenshotted one point in the video where she was in this position and then i drew this because of that video i was trying to do a little collaboration with this poet on instagram her instagram name is tangled tales poetry and I started drawing this and I really just didn't like it so I was super uninspired to finish and I never did and so I finally just did a whole nother thing for the collab for her because I felt bad that I had just kind of left it off like this. I really like this for some reason. I just had random black paint from a paintbrush I guess I hadn't used it all and I just wanted to put it somewhere, so I put it in the sketchbook and then I ended up doing this little design over it and I loved how it came out. And then this is also another little sketch that I really like. I also like this page. I do, yeah, just simple but, you know, kind of aesthetic. I also really like this one. The, the black paint is a bit uneven and you can see the whites of the paper through certain places, but I think it's a pretty cool concept and, you know, that's what this book is for, to come up with good ideas for bigger pictures. This is a little bit more of a, like, insecure kind of point in my life and then this was to counteract that. I was inspired by the Taylor Swift music video and I also still wanted to practice my calligraphy. This is horrible, but I'm just, you know, I'm just playing around. This was a draft for a friend's birthday gift. <laughs> this is a just basically a brain fart page. Like, I just wrote and drew everything I was thinking on this page. Random quotes, random things that popped into my head, um, things that I wanted to look up later as well. So. Yeah. This is an idea for a picture that I really wanted to do, but just never got around to it. I thought this one was pretty cool, especially the little doodles on this side. This was part of a collaboration. First of all, I didn't like my picture at all. I really just don't like it. And second of all, the telephone has kind of gotten lost somewhere in the chain of artists that we're supposed to draw, so I don't know if that's ever going to be finished. I really like this little doodle and then I came back later with the red paint and I added it and I thought it was really cool like a, a red sun or something. This was a plan for my practicum which is the end of the year project or end of semester project. I 
I was trying to make autumn t-shirts or something like that. I really liked this design. This one was also pretty cool. Um, this one is just, uh, no. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with my um, sparkly gel pen in this picture. This is more practicum brainstorming. And this is inspired by the Banks song, Judas. And if you haven't heard of Banks or heard any of her songs, definitely go check her out. She's super, super good. I really, really like this. Um, this is also Loki inspired by a Banks song because it says, give me one excuse. And one of her songs, its name is Alibi, says that phrase um, a few times. And so I was inspired by that. And this was the very first draft of my talent show painting. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to paint for that, and this is an idea that I came up with. And what I ended up doing is actually very similar to this anyways. This is just a crap page. I was trying to brainstorm and I wanted to fill the whole page with ideas, and that never happened. This was done shortly after I went to a Lord concert, which was amazing. And this is that awkward page that you can't really draw on because it just does that. So, finished. And then, just real quick, in the back here, I wrote some artists that I really like. And here's another sticker from Loish.